The West Indies were immediately on the back foot after Darren Sammy won the toss and chose to bat. Johnson's been outstanding in his first couple of overs. In a devastating spell, Mitchell Johnson picked up three early wickets. Is out surely here. Glenn Maxwell chimed in with the wicket of Dwayne Bravo trapped in front. Then Ben Cutting combined twice with Aaron Finch. The Windies end strife at 55 for six in the 20th over. Has to go. Sammy and Kyron Pollard kept Australia at bay, adding 43 in 12 overs when Cutting claimed his third. National cricket. Oh, it's got him. Pollard brought up the Windies 100 and later his own 50, but was running out of partners. A tough chance. Oh, this should be out surely. Oh, yeah. In the end, Pollard played a lone, heroic hand, single-handedly lifting the Windies to 220. His personal contribution, a handy, unbeaten 109. It'll be 100, and what a fine 100. He's second against Australia, and he's third in his one-day international career. In reply, Aussie openers Aaron Finch and Shane Watson weathered Tino Best's fiery spell to post a 52-run stand ended by spin. That's not far away. That's out, LBW. Narine does it. Watson survived a couple of close calls on his way to a half century from 58 deliveries. Well, that one will take some stopping because Watson has hit that very hard. Good work in the deep and also 50 to Watson. Australia was 2 for 115 when Phil Hughes fell in the 23rd over. That's out. That's off the toe of the bat. I'm sure it's out. Yes. Best return, removing Watson for 76. Oh, that's well bowled. That's really well bowled. And a little message on the way through. But Australia's foundation had been built, leaving the middle order to comfortably pick off the runs required with five overs and five wickets to spare. Back he goes.